in a world racing toward automation. This week may go down as the moment robots truly stepped out of science fiction and into our homes, hospitals, and even Olympic stadiums. From a humanoid that loads your dishwasher with human-like grace, to a firefighting robot dog that storms into burning buildings with a water cannon on its back, to China's unprecedented robot sports games, and a humanoid that walks so naturally you'd mistake it for a person from behind. What we're witnessing isn't just progress, it's a robotics revolution. Welcome to ANN, I'm your host, and in this episode, we're diving into four of the most jaw-dropping developments in robotics happening right now, from Unitree's G1 and B2 models to Lenovo's high-stakes Olympic robot event and a walking marvel from P&D Robotics. Let's begin with the robot that's already acting like it lives with you. Meet the Unitree G1, a humanoid robot that has just undergone a transformation thanks to a groundbreaking control system known as AMO, Adaptive Motion Optimization. Standing at 1.27 meters and weighing around 35 kilograms, the G1 features up to 43 degrees of freedom, powerful joint motors capable of 120 newton meters of torque, and full-body environmental perception thanks to 360 degrees LiDAR and depth cameras. But it's what's happening inside the robot that's rewriting the rules of humanoid design. AMO fuses reinforcement learning with trajectory optimization, allowing the G1 to learn and adapt in real time. In simulation, the system runs millions of motion tests, learning to bend, twist, reach, and crouch like a real human. It's not just mimicking motion, it's mastering intention. When the G1 picks up a toy or stretches to grab a bottle on a high shelf, it's coordinating legs, arms, and torso based on a unified internal plan, not isolated commands. What makes AMO even more powerful is its hybrid motion synthesis. It combines motion capture data with real-time torso sampling to generate completely new behaviors, adapting seamlessly to environments the robot was never specifically trained for. In one trial, the G1 smoothly executed a trash throw with a 90-degree torso twist. In another, it lifted a paper bag by maneuvering its hand through the loop all without losing grip or balance. The result? Movements that don't just look human, they feel human. And because the system uses a two-stage training approach, where a teacher policy feeds data to a restricted student policy, these motions hold up in unpredictable, real-world conditions. From domestic chores to advanced research, the G1 is more than a prototype. It's a platform. And AMO is what turns its wires into will. But what happens when Unitry turns its attention from the home to the fire line? If the G1 is Unitree's most dexterous creation, then the B2 firefighting robot dog is its toughest. Based on Unitree's industrial-grade quadruped, this firefighting variant is equipped with a high-pressure water cannon capable of shooting 40 liters per second, up to 60 meters, making it an autonomous first responder for fire zones too dangerous for humans. At top speed, it hits 6 meters per second. It can climb 45-degree staircases, carry a 40-kilogram load, and traverse collapsed buildings or rubble-strewn industrial sites thanks to enhanced 360 newton meters joint torque and a reinforced alloy frame. Internally, it runs on a hot swappable 2.25 kilowatt hour battery system with over five hours of endurance. What truly sets the B2 apart, however, is its smart integration. In firefighting scenarios, it's not just about muscle. The robot is outfitted with real-time mapping sensors, 3D LiDAR, optical and thermal cameras, and a self-cooling sprinkler system to survive extreme heat. It can operate autonomously or be manually piloted through a low-latency communications rig. Some units even include robotic arms and gas detection modules for victim extraction or chemical leak response. One optional attachment even uses a high-velocity airflow blower to suppress flames by cutting oxygen flow at the source. Already deployed in Qingdao, China, the B2 has proven it can spray foam inside burning structures and navigate areas where visibility is near zero. And compared to Boston Dynamics Spot, the B2 offers nearly triple the payload, significantly more range, and comparable AI autonomy for roughly half the cost. With emergency services worldwide looking for safer, faster ways to respond to disasters, the B2 is leading the charge, sometimes literally. But while Unitree is tackling fires on the ground, China's broader robotics push is taking a more Olympic route. Let's head to Beijing. From August 15 to 17, Beijing will host the first-ever World Humanoid Robot Sports Games, a competition that promises to be equal parts engineering showcase and tech spectacle. Set inside two iconic Olympic venues, the Bird's Nest and the Ice Ribbon, the event will pit humanoid robots against each other in 19 separate competitions, ranging from 100-meter sprints to gymnastics, soccer, and even ballroom dancing. These aren't simple pre-programmed showpieces. Participating robots must operate fully autonomously, 
navigate live environments, and perform tasks like concierge services, hospital logistics, and drug sorting under real-time pressure. Each robot must be self-contained, unmarked, and self-powered with no external tethers. They must also withstand rigorous tests of balance, adaptability, and real-world decision-making while obeying strict safety guidelines, meaning no hazardous energy sources or preloaded motion sequences. Some of the most anticipated events include humanoid track relays with AI pacing, gymnastics routines with scored balance metrics, five-on-five -five robot soccer, and a new technical challenge featuring unpredictable variables like slippery terrain or moving platforms. The event follows an earlier humanoid half marathon held in April, where over 20 robots ran for nearly three hours straight side by side with human runners. A goal? More than just headlines. The games aim to refine robot mobility algorithms under pressure, test emergency deployment readiness, and promote global collaboration in advanced robotics. But not every robot entering the arena is from a major corporation. One of the most talked about competitors comes from a young startup in China, PND Botics. Unlike many robots designed for lab settings, PND Botics Atom was built to walk like a human in the wild. Standing at 1.6 meters and weighing 60 kilograms, Atom features 25 force-controlled quasi-direct drive actuators, including high-torque leg motors capable of delivering up to 340 newton meters of torque. But what makes Atom unique is the way it learns to walk. Trained inside NVIDIA's Isaac Gym with reinforcement learning and imitation learning, Atom began its development with motion capture data sourced from public human motion datasets. That gave it the basics. Then came months of simulation training using domain randomization, teaching the robot to adapt to noise, surface changes, and balance disruptions it had never seen before. The result? A humanoid robot that doesn't just shuffle or wobble. It walks heel to toe, shifts its weight naturally, and balances dynamically, even on uneven ground. Internally, Adam runs on a 12th gen Intel i7, communicating in real time through a custom-built control unit, featuring a 16-port gigabit ethernet switch and embedded battery systems. The robot diseño is algo modular, permitiendo las generaciones de tutores, destrezas o en módulos de edición, aunque su enfoque es difuso locomoción. Its architecture includes six degrees of freedom per leg, five per arm, three at the waist, and full body coordination for realistic upper body movement, including natural arm swings for balance. What makes Adam especially exciting is its potential. It's not backed by a megacorp. It's open to researchers, modifiable by design, and built to test just how close we can get to true biomimetic walking without billion-dollar backing. And this August, Adam will face its biggest test yet, competing on the world stage in Beijing. From dish-loading humanoids to firefighting robot dogs, Olympic-bound androids to startup-built walkers, the future of robotics is no longer theoretical. It's here, it's happening, and it's moving fast. These breakthroughs aren't just technical marvels. Thanks for watching AINN. Subscribe for more high impact updates from the front lines of AI, robotics, and the tech shaping our future. See you in the future.